Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user reached out asking for a little help on a project. I've got some steps, so let's get cracking. So, friends, the user showed me this awesome video. You can check it out. I'll have a link in the description. It is a free energy project where if you have the magnets at the exact right angle, it will actually make this thing go around and around and around and supposedly never stop. The user said, how do I make something like this in Tinkercad? I'm not sure Tinkercad can be totally precise, but let me show you how I would get started. Now, friends, you're going to have to work on all your scales. You can change your measurements here like that project looks like it prints large. So if you're going to build the real one, you're going to have to do your own measurements by changing them here and then clicking X to lock them in place. You're also going to need to design all your parts the way you actually need them. I'm just going to come close for giggles. I'm going to make this five millimeters thick. I am going to type my radius. This way it goes to the exact size. I'm going to do a radius of 60. And then I'm going to take the wall thickness and I'm going to make it 15 and see if I like that. I'm going to try 20 instead. And these are things you can adjust with and play. Just understand if you touch the handles, these no longer work. I want it to be more round. So I'm going to make it 64. And then I'm going to cut that in half so that we can use it for that part by doing this. If I take the two pieces and remember this measurement right here was 120 and I make it 60 if I select those two and choose a line and put them to this corner and I'll put center just because if we group it we have just got a similar shape to the side now of course we need two of those but we're gonna make that later so now there was the magnet part if we bring this in I don't know the exact size so I'm just gonna shrink mine to a size that works for this project so there's all kinds of measurements you need to know if you're gonna make a real one of these I'm just giving you the idea so first I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Notice if you stay inside the shape with the mouse, it goes 22 and a half degrees at a time. If you move the mouse away, it goes further. I'm going to do D to drop it to the ground. I'm going to align it right to the edge. I'm assuming there's some system that you need to get this to the exact spots you want. So I am just going to set my grid to five millimeters and I'm guessing these are the numbers. I'm going to go one click over. I'm going to go a rotation of 18 degrees because I think that's what the user said. Notice if I come out here one degree, that gets me my 18. And now if I don't touch anything else, I can do control D and nudge that other one over and rotate it 18 degrees. And if I do control D again and again and again, it does those rotations all the way around the shape. I don't know the exact numbers you need, but that is how I would build something like this using that nudge and rotate trick to get the exact space that I want so that these magnets could be put in place. Now the user mentioned this has to be precise. I do not have a way to do it precise in Tinkercad. All I have is the nudge and rotate trick, which you might find useful. Of course, friends, if that was perfect, which it's not, you would choose a line and you'd want those to be aligned to the middle. And then when you grouped them, they would have cutout spots where you could put your little magnets. You could duplicate this with a control D, flip it to the other side, and boom, you'd have those two parts created. Just have to make the disc in the middle and then keep continuing with your project. I know it's not a total solution, but hopefully it gets you on your way. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.